What up guys, it's Matthew Vick with SonomaStrongHauling.com and today I'm going to talk about taking care of people that take care of you. So if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and that like button down below and check out my other videos guys. So yeah, take care of people that take care of you guys. By saying that is, I got a bass boat that I park in storage and there's a maintenance guy over there and I gave him some business cards and I told him like this, hey, if you can give me some business, clean out some of these storage units, then I'll take care of you. I'll get you a gift card, buy you some beer, whatever you want. And yesterday I was dropping the bass boat off there and when I was pulling in there, he was like, hey, I was about to give you a call. I got a storage unit that needs to be cleaned up. So I went over there, checked it out. It was a 10 minute job. I got paid and what I'm gonna do is take care of the person that takes care of me, guys. I'm gonna buy him a bottle of bourbon. So that's what you guys wanna do. If you guys got some organizers that you do jobs for and they keep calling you up, send them a gift card. A Starbucks card, something like that, guys. And always take care of the realtors that you work for, too, guys. Maybe bring them out to eat for lunch every once in a while. Get them on the team. Take care of those people, guys. These are just my opinions, guys. You don't have to do it, but this is how I get repeat customers and stay busy, guys. And for your employees, take care of your employees, guys. If there's some solid, hard-working guys, buy their food all the time. If you guys work four or five hours that day, pay them for the full day. That's just what I do, guys. So, hope you guys are getting this money. I'm about to hop in the little mo, my little tundra, and go out there and get this money. I got the other big dump trailer parked at the park right now. So, stay tuned. So, we're at the first job of the day, and we're in the senior citizens housing area, guys. These are all seniors. This is what you guys want to get. Advertise and pass out flyers in areas like this, guys. Oh, yeah. See what she has. So here's the first job of the day, guys. Look at this. That's why I love junk removal. It's a minimum pickup. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Two minute job. See now sometimes you get those easy jobs and sometimes you don't. What you say about that, Joe Joe? I didn't even have to put my gloves on. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, at least gas prices are going down in California a little bit, guys. We're, we're paying three sixty-one. Oh yeah. So we're at job number two of the day in beautiful Sebastopol, California. Let's see if we can get it, guys. Oh yeah. I'm glad I bought the brought the little trailer because it's a tight little squeeze down this driveway. So we're here at the job, guys, and this is the pile. And what would you guys price this pile? Let me know, guys, down below. Show you guys a pile real quick a little bit better. This is the pile. Ciao, ciao, ciao. It's not that bad. What would you guys bid it? I'm just wondering. Our prices out here is 127 a ton in California. Dumpster Divas over there looking for good stuff. Look at that. Don't do that, babe, in front of people. So we got the job. And that's why we always bring the trailer. And we had to bring the little trailer today, guys, because backing up over here, it wasn't that wide, guys. It's been kind of more difficult with the big trailer. I mean, we could have got it done, but we wanted to make sure, so we brought the little guy. We brought little Mo. A little mo makes us a lot of money, guys. So 20 minutes later, we're all loaded up and we got it done, guys. Now it's off to the next job. So the pros and cons of having a little trailer, guys. The pros are that it's cheap on gas and you get in tight places. But the bad thing about it, the cons is that you gotta unload that sucker by hand. And I don't like doing that, but we're gonna do that today. Job number two is complete. Now we're recycling the metal, guys. Prediction of the dump fee. Joe, Joe. 54. 54? I'm gonna say $60. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, it ain't no one in the dump line. Well, one more good thing about unloading it by hand, guys, is that you ain't gonna get fat doing that. It's good cardio. Do it 20 to 30 minutes a day. If you do four lows that day, then you're doing cardio for about an hour and a half maybe. So yeah, there's some 
some pros in it. But you know what? I like pushing that butt. What about you? <laughs> pushing the button's easy. Oh, yeah. It was $62. I was off by $2. How's it feel? <laughs> Whatever. Pulling up to job number three. It's a bid. Let's see if we get it, guys. So stay tuned. That's what we got so far. Check it out. We'll see what happens. So this lady is crazy, guys. But that's right. I'm going to get paid. And I'm going to videotape her afterwards. Oh, the yeah. first part of the load is almost done. We're about halfway done, guys. And look, there's a duck here in the front yard. Welcome to California. Oh, yeah. This is not normal for California, guys. That's like some Texas stuff, I would think. I'm not talking crap. I'm just saying it's kind of redneck. Oh, yeah. I'm waiting for this lady to find her wallet. So if this lady don't find her wallet in about 10 minutes, I'm dumping everything back in her driveway. I mean, I'll claim it regardless, but I just want to make, okay. sure, make sure it clears. So I'm going to go over fine. there and make sure okay. before I so go dump everything. Two Ma T's or one? Two T's. Okay. Matthew Vick. Uh, M A T T A T W. -E -W. Then Vic V I C K. Alright, excellent. It will clear too? Yes, it will clear. Okay. 627. You call them right now. I'll just go down there. Call Wells Fargo. Um, and I don't care if it's early still, so go. you can go see Ivan and uh, business owners. Yeah, if the check don't clear, I'm dropping all this shit back in the yard. I got a feeling this one might not clear, guys, but you know what? I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt. Let's see if this clears before I even go to the dumps. Let's find out, guys. Oh, yeah. So I was wrong. It cleared. But you always gotta be cautious, guys, when you guys are dealing with drug addicts or people that are losing their places and they look like they don't have money. And they're making excuses to find their wallet or their mom's not paid for it, then they give you a check. So always make sure you guys go cast a check first, make sure it clears. I thought she made a bunch of excuses because it wasn't going to clear, but you know what? I was wrong. And we're going to dump this and we got paid. Oh, JoJo was skeptical, huh? Oh, yeah. Prediction of the dump fee? 50. 50. I'm going to say 70 bucks. Let's see what happens. Oh, so yeah. JoJo was off by $1. How's it feel? Feels good. You yeah. were off by two earlier, so. Oh, so I yeah. just dropped JoJo off, and I'm heading to the last job of the day, guys. Job number four. Oh yeah. So it's about 18 minutes drive. It's a little bid, so we'll see if I get it. So stay tuned. So here's the job. The lady hit me up at 6:30 in the morning. I responded back ASAP, and I'm coming here to do a bid. And guess what? I got the job. So here at job number four, about to get it done. Oh yeah. So job is complete, last job of the day, oh yeah, getting money, it's only uh, I think 1 o'clock, and that was a cash deal, love cash. Oh, so like yeah. what I said in the beginning of the video guys, take care of people that take care of you guys. So I'm heading to the storage unit to grab the bass boat, and I bought the guy a bottle of bourbon. That's what he wanted, some bourbon. So like I said before guys, take care of the people around you and take care of yourself. Take some time off, do what you love to do. I'll be out on this bass boat this weekend fishing and taking some time off. Make sure you guys don't get caught up working every single day, 24 seven, seven days a week. Take some time off for yourself. It's good for your body and it's good for your mind. I'm Matthew Vick with SonomaStrongHauling.com.